off there. Let me see. Okay. And so if you you're going to remove that pipe all the way back here, no, it comes back to here, it's, doesn't it's, it? It's to this one, which which, yeah. which is a broken lever. Yeah. Um, so we need to locate. You see, these go up into a lot of cupped holder, and that's missing. So we need to work out how we're going to do that. So we need to take these off and yeah. have a have a look at that. Yeah, all right, Jim. Most probably broken. Um, these need sort of bending out so that we can use them, these two. Yeah. So I take those I don't off. Remember them being that bent. It feels like someone's bent them in down there. Someone's whacked it. Yeah. It's whacked the whole lot, haven't they? Yeah. It's all gone. Well, no, they, these, that, that's how they're they operate. Working. But they've got to be all parallel. Yeah. Mm. No, that wasn't that wasn't whacked out before. Mm. That's been bent and that just has recently. As well. that has yeah, well. someone's obviously hit them. Yeah with something haven't they maybe it could have been that someone backed in the arm or something I don't probably, know probably probably has bent that yeah hmm. okay but I mean yeah. the pipe's done at that bad but I'm not going to connect it up until that's connected with a new pipe yeah that's... okay well, we'll have to go to Corby for that won't we yeah it's a 3A pose yeah um, I'll take him off. Okay, take him off and I'll go off, whiz off and see if I can get a new hose on well, that. Well, before you do that, yeah, I mean... The, and that, not that. Needs, needs to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair play. Okay, guys, another morning. Trying to get the timber trailer to get some wood out of uh, our wood that we've been felling. Uh, we're bagging up and trying to dry wood chip. So today's little issue is our biomass boiler down the end which has been running well has an ignition fault and won't restart there's a little sort of blower in it but makes a little sends obviously a jet of hot air in so it pushes air over a filament and heats it up a little bit like a grenadier that you have for your fire at home and for some reason it just it won't start so maybe it's burnt itself out I don't know uh, but I imagine we're going to be down now on our drying down there of wood chip, which is a real, real bugger, because I was hoping we could chip a lot of wood and just over Christmas we could fill a few bins up and leave them drying, but not to be. Um, our main tally handler uh, is also down in bits. Four wheel steer is off, I asked Taddy to get it. The windscreen wiper working, which he got working, but then somehow or steer didn't work and uh, so we haven't got <laughs> took it a bit last night hasn't put it back together so uh, yeah down a telehander um, so uh, yeah always good timing isn't it when you're super busy when machines start breaking on you anyway there we are so here we are in the biomass shed I'm just wondering perhaps it was that chip I put in but it doesn't look that bad okay it's a little bit sort of Sticky, but I'd be surprised that was what went wrong. Anyway, it's caught with that fault, so I'll have a look inside, take that panel off there, and see what's going on. So that's the ignition unit, sits in there, and um, just blows a hot air, but it seems to be dead as a dodo. Chunky stuff in here. I'll just shovel that out. I don't know if that's the cause of the problem. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Do, do look at the and uh, everybody rubbernecks, don't they? Anyway, you got through. So, what is this? This is how you cut it. Yeah, that's clever, isn't it? Seals the end up as well. Yeah, so you don't get frays. Oh, that's so neat, isn't it? That's awesome. Cool. Smells like wax. Yeah. <laughs> Wills, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go grab him. He's, really. He's gone overboard. Yeah. Somewhere. Cheers, guys. That was just a big year. No. <laughs> okay, so we're not gonna collect any wood today with that. We're gonna have to try and get that thing into a bit of a state where it can at least work, and then I think we'll probably sell it. It just looks like there's too much to be done on it. But I know where I can go to get the parts, which is Jazz P. Wilson, um, and we'll go from there. Brent is busy logging, grabbing these little digger, which actually seems to be doing quite a good job of just picking out logs into our bagging system.
interesting guys so we're just checking out the, the heating system here as you can see it's just getting clogged up and i'm just not in the heat to my um secondary digester and back again so this is just a good opportunity to try and do it but i've got to keep an eye on the header pressure because if i drain too much water out with all this water uh my chp will go down and that's not what we want but actually we've got tons and tons of bar in there it's up to over two so that is not a problem. I don't need to refill that. Actually, that's quite high to be fair. So yeah, there we are. Okay, good. Which one's that, Will? That's the bottom one here, so it's flowing all right. Yeah, but that will be coming from the header. The header that way, yeah, and then so it's going- No, no, I think it's coming from our process building now as a shortcut. Sorry? So there's pressure on both system ends, aren't there? Yeah, no, but what I want to do is I just want to, I, you know, you're talking about gunk. Yeah. I want to make sure that each of these is flowing. It's flowing, so, yeah. Yeah, so I've shut all of these valves except for that one. Yep. So the only way that water can get from here. And you've here, shut it there, so it's not coming from the yeah, yeah, process correct, room, correct. yeah. So, so it's going to go around there, down here. And up, there, and, and pop out. out yeah, okay. All right, so what do you Turn it off. They're all off. Yeah. It's not very impressive again though, is it? No, but it's going a really, really long way. Yeah. Oh, you think it's just a drop in pressure because yeah. it's so far to go? Yeah, totally, because that's why there's loads of them. So if you open up more of them, it, it, more water should come through, shouldn't yeah, it? Pressing. Oh yeah, that, that one, that's, now you're getting it. Do you see what I mean? Yep, that is starting to come. That, so we don't lose all the pressure. So, Still a bit gunky in there, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, it, it's but it's not really. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, we could put an inline filter in it at some point. Um, might be worth doing that, just because everything's a bit old. Well, I've got a magnetic filter in the process building actually to uh, capture shit. It's very, very good. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really good. That was Kay's um, son did that. Okay. Okay. I think she's alright, yeah. Is, obviously, I don't see her now, so uh, yeah. I think she's alright. You're just doing her farm there. Oh, that's cool. Her little farm. Some sort of things that she's got on. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, that one's gone backwards just because I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't want to force it. Yeah. Okay. Right, so there we go. That's that there. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's do the same exercise over here. Right, fair enough. You know, it's like my kids aren't getting any younger. I was running around like fuck, constantly getting ill. Oh, um, you getting ill? Yeah, I, I got basically I got COVID. Um, and then, and, and when I was really young, like in my early twenties, yeah, before I started shipping, I got ground in a fever. And it's quite weird that I don't know if you ever had it. No, I haven't. It actually. makes you. I mean, I had to go to bed for two weeks, which you've known me for ages. You can imagine that's yeah. quite unusual for the Llewellyn. Yeah. Um, and so I just wanted to do a bit more. Um, that's definitely on top, just a bit less it? of the coffee. Okay, so we'll just leave that heating manifold now. I know that the temperature on the return is just about 20, so hopefully by the end of the day it'll be a bit higher because we want the delta between the circuits to be about 5 or 10 degrees. Uh, which is what it is when it goes into the tank, it heats up the tank and then comes back. So just a sort of question of sort of flushing that out really, it was all kind of clogged up and we'll just see where we go. Um, hopefully that's fixed it. Okay guys, I'm just at the boiler. I've got a new Lister um, burner like this. Plugged it in to check the fuses on the fuse board, seemed to be okay. So, hopefully, we're going to get some chip in and it's going to start whirring. It's still got a green light on the control panel. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, we're going to hear that little happy sound of a little burner blower just starting. Okay, guys, so next day we are back at the heating uh, manifold that we've got here. Uh, really super annoyingly, the return temperature here is still around 20 degrees, which is far too low because it's going out about 60. 
and then it's coming back should be coming back about sort of 50 or something 10 delta on there it's not happening now we've got the pipe that runs underground from the process building there in the corner and then it pops up here so somewhere in the return loop is um is a is a blockage uh we had a three-way valve and the spade came off it so we're just wondering whether the spades got lodged in the system somewhere we have got a load of this black hosing so we're going to take that attach it to that end on the return and then bypass this bit of the system and plug it in up here we've got a couple of ports there and try and see if we can work out get a flow return there um, so yeah we're not giving up yet okay guys so i've got the biomass boiler working now that um replacement uh heater blower unit um managed to get that in back drying which is great telehandler's back running which is fantastic for steer on so that's going um what else has been happening we are trying to get a timber trailer going i've got a new hose for the side leg that pops up and down i've had no luck finding one of those levers uh, with the shoulder on so we just maybe just sort of think leave it as it is um yeah, it doesn't seem like anybody wants to really use the machine, so I'll probably pop it on Facebook and see if somebody else wants to, to use it um, because it's, um, yeah, it's just sitting there and, you know, the lads haven't taken to it. So, um, yeah, I think that's what we'll, what we'll do with it. Um, the heating is, yeah, as I said, just proving a real sort of conundrum there to try and get that working. So we'll just have to keep going on that and see how we are but um yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed that vid and we'll catch you on the next one